eat your way through Ueno's popular gourmet foods. Seven recommendations. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, I'd like to take you on a food tour of one of Japan's most famous tourist destinations, Ueno. I'll introduce you to seven famous restaurants, some with long lines and more. There will be a store just opened in 2021, so please stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Here we are at Ueno Station. Once out of Ueno Station, cross the intersection and head for Ameya Yokocho. Here it is. Ameya Yokocho is called Ameyoko for short. It has flourished since around 1950 and has more than 400 stores. In the end, I'll eat Monjayaki at Moheji, which just opened last year. But first, let's visit some different restaurants. First of all, I'd like to introduce you to this restaurant. It's Alas Kebab. This restaurant has been featured in many TV programs and magazines and is often introduced on YouTube. There are a variety of kebabs on the menu, but I'll go with the most popular. The aroma of the meat being grilled right in front of you is irresistible. It's done. This is the most popular donut kebab in the restaurant. The pita is filled with beef, chicken, cabbage, and tomatoes. You can choose from five levels of spiciness, but this time I went with the third, a little spicier sauce. It's a fruity sauce with just the right amount of spiciness. The meat that is roasted and grilled, it's so savory and juicy. It's spicy with a lot of spices. It's nice to be able to eat authentic Turkish food in such a casual setting. Let's go to the next restaurant now. Next up, it's Saiko Shun, a restaurant where you can eat authentic Chinese food. There are many items on the menu, but this time, I'm going to try the restaurant's most popular item, Xiaolambao. It's done! This is Xiaolambao, baked without steaming. Baking in the pan gives it a crispy texture. I love the smell of sesame oil. The crispy outer skin has a chewy texture to it. When you break it open, the gravy overflows. The filling is juicy and well seasoned with salt and pepper. Let's go to the next restaurant. The third one is Minatoya. It is popular for its cheap and tasty seafood bowls, but it also serves freshly baked takoyaki. It's $1.74, 200 yen, for 4 pieces, so it's really cheap, right? You can add your own sauce or mayonnaise. Finally, top with dried bonito flakes, and it's done! I love the smell of the dried bonito flakes and the sauce. It's a big takoyaki compared to other restaurants, so it's a great deal. It's so savory on the outside and so moist on the inside. The melty dough and mayonnaise are creamy. It's just the right size for eating and walking your way through. The fourth one I would like to introduce is Chicken Man. It's a place where you can get freshly roasted chicken. 
the savory aroma of chicken is appetizing. I ordered a quarter-sized roast chicken just so I could have some of the other dishes in other restaurants. Let's eat. It's slowly baked, so it's crispy on the outside. The seasoning is light, so you can taste the true flavor of the chicken. The meat is so juicy and moist. It's surprisingly tender. Let's change the flavor with the sauce. It's a spicy sauce with mayonnaise and ketchup. It's just the right amount of spice to make it even better. It's addictive taste. Thanks for letting me shoot you. The fifth one I would like to introduce is this shop. It's Niku no Oyama. This is a very popular meat specialty shop run by a butcher store established in 1932. I bought two of their most popular fried foods. First up are the croquettes. It's super cheap at 61 cents, 70 yen a piece. It's freshly fried so you can eat it hot. It's so crispy on the outside and moist on the inside. The fatty meat makes the potatoes taste even better. It's good enough on its own, but let's try the sauce. It turned into a spicy and rich taste. It's hard to believe it's only 61 cents. What I eat next is more luxurious fried food. This is a minced meat cutlet, menchikatsu, fried with breadcrumbs on a burger steak. Let's break it open. This menchikatsu is made with wagyu beef and it's so juicy. The gravy is overflowing. I can even taste the sweetness of the onions. Let's try the sauce. It becomes richer and tastier. It's a little expensive at about $3.50 a piece, but I highly recommend it. Now, let's go to the next store. The sixth one is located at the entrance of Ameyoko and is called Komeyori Panda. It's a brand new restaurant opened in September 2021. They sell breads and sweets featuring the popular pandas at the Ueno Zoo. There's a lot to choose from, but I'll take this one. It's a cream bun in the shape of a panda's face. It's so cute. The dough is so soft and fluffy. There's plenty of custard cream inside. It's so sweet with a strong vanilla flavor. It's creamy, moist, and goes perfectly with the bread. Now, let's go to the last restaurant. We are back at Moheji, the Monjayaki specialty restaurant we introduced at the beginning. It's a very popular restaurant run by a fish store that has been around for over 150 years. We've walked a lot, so let's start with a drink. We decided on the beer and the highball. Cheers! First, I ordered the octopus. When it's cooked, let's cut it into bite-sized pieces. Let's put the butter in. Finally, add soy sauce, stir and grill. It's done! It's octopus stir-fried with butter and soy sauce. The fresh octopus is crunchy and has a nice texture. Butter and soy sauce goes so well together. That would go great with sake. Before we get to the famous monjayaki, 
Let's have some tonpeyaki. It's hard to cook it by myself, so I'll ask the waiter do it for me. First, grill some pork belly on both sides. Now, put eggs in there. Put in the green onions in the fried batter balls. Pour the sauce over it when it flipped over. I love the smell of the sauce. Put plenty of mayonnaise. Finally, add green lava and it's done. This is tonpeyaki. Let's break it open. Half boiled eggs and mayonnaise are creamy. I love the texture of the green onions. The pork is juicy and the sweet sauce goes well with it. I had to refill my drink. It's a happy made with frozen shochu. It tastes like a lighter beer and goes great with strong dishes. Last but not least, let's try the restaurant's most popular dish, monjayaki. This monjayaki had spicy cod roll, rice cake, and cheese. That's a luxurious monjayaki. It's hard to cook it by myself, so let the waiter cook it for me. She's so deft. Monjayaki soup has a sweet aroma because it has cream in it. Spread it flat and sprinkle some cheese on top. Now it's done. The cheese just keeps melting and looks so good. It's delicious with a melty texture. It's very creamy because it contains fresh cream. The rice cake and cheese melt in your mouth and it's addictive. Ueno is a great town with all kinds of delicious food. I highly recommend it for foodies who want to try different cuisines from all over the world. If there's a place you'd like me to introduce, please let me know in the comments. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.